Hi, everybody. I'm Ronnie. Hi, and I'm Jenny. And we are the Heart and Soul Sisters. You got and it. Today, we just want to come to you for a few minutes to talk about uh, starting your day and doing it in a way that um, helps you feel calm, peaceful, centered, grounded, you know, choose your choose your favorite um, adjective, but something that can can um, set you off on the right get your get you started on the right foot in the morning right that's really important now you could it could be very short or it could be something more elaborate um, in my case I actually get up early um, 5 30 usually on a, a working day to make sure I can do my routine I, I start with with meditation with yoga and then I get some sort of physical exercise and it just really makes me feel um, feel good to start that way I feel like it, it's kind of like the advice about saving you know pay yourself first I take my time off the top in the morning to make sure that I get to do the things that I want to do because the meditation practice brings me a sense of peace. Um, the yoga, the same thing, although the yoga, well, that'll be a whole other podcast at some point in the future about all the things that yoga has done for me, but it, it really makes my body feel wonderful. And then being able to work out in some way and move my body, it just, it just gives me a sense of well-being, right? Spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, to be able to do all those things. But you could take even a piece of them, right? Um, just getting outside for a short walk to get some fresh air. Um, the meditation practice, I, I practice for maybe 20, 30 minutes, but it could be five minutes, right? If it's five minutes of, of quiet, something that you can just say, I'm getting up and I'm doing this for me in the morning, that I found to be so important, so important. And, and I practiced yoga for a long time. I used to do it later in the day because I was so stiff that I was more limber later in the day, so I would do it before bed. But it really, it makes a, and, and I still do, I will still do some yoga postures before I go to bed just to release tension in the body. But the practice itself, starting my day with it, sets the tone and makes a big difference. So again, it could be shorter, longer, just a few postures to get your body moving. But something something along those lines is, is the way I always like to start. How about you, Jen? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you are just, I just love listening to you. Um, oh, so, you're so kind. <laughs> I've been less structured <laughs> through the years than my sister. Um, so, I, yeah, I've gone through phases of where I used to get up and, and walk every morning, at, you know, like 6 a.m. and run uh, back in the, in the days when I used to run and love exercising first thing in the morning. Um, so what I've been doing more recently is um, I'm doing I'm doing meditation and I'm kind of I'm kind of a potpourri person when it comes to meditation I like trying different things um, and so I've I've used like Dr. Wayne Dyer's I am meditation which I, I love and that's about 17 minutes and you can do that morning and evening um, <clears throat> and then the, Dr. Joe Dispenza he has a morning evening meditation I've done some of his so it kind of depends on my mood. That's good, um, but, though. That's good, But though. lately, yeah, so I've had a lot of variety. I like guided med meditation, and, and I've used yoga nidra in the afternoons, or if I've had a really more stressful day, with, then I might use one of Jennifer, is it? Reese. I always get Reese. Reese. Thank you. Yeah. Jennifer Reese, yoga nidra meditations. I have several of hers I love. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then what I've been doing more lately since I've been I've been doing um, Silva Ultramine training through mm -hmm. Mind Valley, um, and so I've been doing the the different the different meditations with that in the morning, and then I'm also doing that in the evening. Uh, and I am doing more of my yoga. So yeah, so I'm I was walking in the evenings a lot after work because it was a great stress release for me. Oh, and yeah. so what I've what I've been doing lately is walking. Um, in the mornings again and the evenings uh, and, and the combination of just being outside for me I am I think we've mentioned before we were both kind of tomboys when we were kids we just lived outside yeah um, even in the winter time we spent so many hours outside yeah. and, and and it really does feed my heart and my soul to be outside so I'm I'm just recently as the weather's been warmer I've implemented the morning and evening walks and so that and the and the yoga is wonderful yeah. for, for me just to just to move my body to stretch 
and regaining some of that flexibility because I used to be pretty darn flexible. Um, I was like a pretzel when I was a teenager. Yeah. And I we did, I did the that. what was that yoga book that we did that Richard, mom had given Richard us? Richard Hittleman's Hittle, yoga. Hittleman's yoga, yeah, book. Yeah. yoga book. Yeah. Yoga book. Taught myself yoga Which, with that book. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And we were like, I don't know, fourteen or yeah, I think because it was on the farm I started doing some of the yoga postures and then um right. when we were when we were teenagers and um just love the way my body feels. Yes. Af- after during but after doing mm-hmm. the yoga postures and the Relax, breathing. Relaxed and the just, but energized yeah, at the same time. Absolutely. Yeah. It just oh, I feel so good. So yeah, so those are the things that that I do, <laughs> have but, been you know, doing. <laughs> but it can, but you know, for a lot of people, meditation seems a little out there. Yoga, yeah, it's not really me. I mean, meditation can even be just a little quiet time with your cup of tea or your coffee and your hands wrapped around the mug and just smelling it and enjoying it. Being and present, maybe, yeah. yeah. Being maybe looking fully out present. the window and watching the day begin as animals or people or whatever you can Listening see. Listening to the birds, outside. yeah. Outside, yeah. It, start moving. So just a little something for you so that you don't get out of bed at a dead run and rush into your day, right? It's really right. about finding some time. And for me, I take a couple hours to do all those things, but it, it might just be starting with five or 10 minutes. You know, can I, can I just really enjoy that cup of tea or a cup of coffee first thing in the morning and just watch the world and not be scrolling through my, you know, some feed on my phone or dashing to the next thing I have to do, you know, just taking that, that few minutes for yourself to nurture yourself can be so important. And we just want to encourage people yeah. and give them permission, right? Sometimes people don't feel like they have permission to take time for themselves because they're, they might feel selfish. So yeah. 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 They might feel like they're being selfish when they do that. But you know, yeah. I know that from all the times that I've, I've put off exercising or put off doing yoga or meditating because I'm like, Oh, I, I don't have time. Those are probably the times I needed it more, you know? Yes. Yes. And, and it, um, it's so, it's so I feel I, I can't imagine not taking the time now yeah. after there's, it's been such a part there's of There's actually this cool saying, and I don't remember, I know I've seen it in, you know, some yoga retreat somewhere. I'm not sure if it's the Buddha or somebody, but somebody said, um, you should meditate 30 minutes every day unless you are very busy, in which case you should meditate for 60 minutes. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. this, like, that's the truth that you were just talking about there, right? You need it more than ever when you're busy. But um, whatever it is for you, right? Whatever it is for you that, that nurtures you, and even if it's just five minutes you take for yourself, um, we would like to encourage you and give you permission to do that. Absolutely. You're worth it. So, yes. <laughs> so give it a try and let us know how it works out. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Um, you'll see in a second how you can reach out and contact us. And in the meantime, we are sending you much love, much light. And, and so many blessings. Many, many blessings. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.